shit. It's your boy, Mr. ROTBA. Uh, uh, I'm touching down from that two, one, four. And I'm on that bullshit again. And I'm on that bullshit today, right? Y'all know how I do. This the post fight of Garcia versus Samuel Vargas. I must address the bullshit. Now, all TBA and everybody around the world, did you see that trash of a fight between Danny Garcia and Samuel Vargas? I wouldn't give Shit, I watched that on the stream fight. You would not catch me watching on regular TV. But did you see the bullshit? This dude, Danny Garcia, was fighting the dude ranked 43rd in the world. Danny Garcia, he is a champion. But stop playing with me. Everybody hyped this boy up like he really the truth. And he ain't shit. Understand, he let Samuel Vargas go seven rounds with him. Do you see how he throw punches? Man, stop playing with me. And then what really pissed me the fuck off, how after the fight, this motherfucker gonna jump out on the ring talking to Keith Thurman like, I'll beat your ass. Well, motherfucker, if you would have beat his ass, why, you, why he wasn't the one you was fighting tonight? Man, that's the fuckery in boxing. This dude was a fucking champion. And all you boxing motherfuckers around the world, y'all accepted him fighting Samuel Vargas for a tune-up fight. A champion fighting a tune-up fight? Really? This dude ain't had no contractual problems or nothing. No problems with his promoter or nothing like that. We ain't heard of nothing like that. But a champion gets a tune-up fight against a, a dude who ranked 43rd in the world. Then this fucking dude going to get him out to the seventh round. Then he going to tell Keith Thurman, I'm going to fuck you up. Really? Man, stop playing with us, Danny Garcia. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why you didn't want to take Keith Thurman in March. That's the reason why you didn't want to take a fucking Earl Spence. You want to fight the dude he fought, he knocked out the uh, last year. And you the fucking champion. Man, stop playing with me. That's why you ain't want none of Sean Porter, uh, Danny Garcia. That's, this is why. Because we see when you get in the ring, a fighter like Keith Thurman is going to whoop your motherfucking ass. Like real talk, and you know it. You know Keith Thurman, and your daddy know Keith Thurman going to whoop your ass. How can you get excited and jump on a ring and do like this after you beat a dude who ranked 43rd in the world. Everybody had you beating this fucking dude who was ranked 43rd in the world because a dude in the name of Earl Spence who ain't even champion beat this dude last fucking year. Easy. So stop playing with me. You jumping up like you Superman, like that was a hell of a performance. After you knocked this dude out in the second round, you didn't hurry up and get him the fuck out of there. That dude show if a person can move on you. They could get you. It's already two uh, questionable wins on your resume. Come on, man. You and your loud mouth ass. That I don't want to hurt. Man, all the fuckery that's going on in boxing right now. And Danny Garcia, a fucking champion, needed a tune-up fight. Then he gonna talk about, hey, Philly, if y'all want me to whoop Keith Thurman ass, make some noise. Motherfucker, why, why wasn't you fighting Keith Thurman tonight if you were champion? That's why boxing is turned into a watered down fucking sport. Do you understand me? Because we as boxing fans, we accepting this bullshit are champions. Not fighting a dude who in the top 10, not in the top 15, not in the top 20, not in the top. He fighting a dude in the top 40 because he says as a champion, he needs a tune-up fight. That's bullshit with me. And he looked bad against Samuel Vargas tonight. That's why we don't give Danny Garcia no fucking credit because he steady does this fuckery. He chooses a dude who's highly underranked from him. Then the dude goes seven rounds with him and make him look like he won shit. Understand that then instead of fighting a, a fighter like Lamont Peterson who you got questions, questions 50-50, no you fight him that's bullshit and that's why I know he didn't want no parts of Earl Spence y'all know Earl Spence will beat the fuck out of this Danny Garcia dude man, that's why he's saying all this, his daddy talking about people gonna miss Danny Garcia man stop playing with me, it ain't nothing special about Danny Garcia man y'all know how I do, Mr. 2 1 Oh, I'm on that bullshit again, goddammit.